The way off kit has up weights in the front row, 20 grams through 25 grams. And in the second row, in this disposition, it has pairing weights that descend by two grams each for each gram of ascension in the um, up weights, which the pairing weight combines with the up weight to make down weight. So the down weights go down by two grams for every one gram, the up weight goes up. And this maintains a uh, balance weight. So uh, as a matter of trial and error, if we get the things we don't need out of the way, so now we have 20 grams through 25 grams. And if we put 20 grams in front of 34 grams, that makes a down weight of 54 grams and an up weight of 20 grams. So 54 plus 20 is 74, divided by two is 37, and 37 is the balance weight that works well for this um, piano. So uh, as a preliminary step, uh, take the pairs and put them out on the lid. Okay, and now I'm going to put them on the keys approximately where they will begin. So with the um, up weight underneath the pairing weight. So for note number one, and what I'm going to look for is the speeds to match, which those do pretty well. Uh, the next pair, which is 32 grams pairing weight and 21 grams up weight, if you add them together, you get 53 grams. Uh, 53 grams plus 21 grams equals 74 divided by 2 is 37. So that's the next. And where, where I transition is arbitrary. And it doesn't matter because the 34 pairing weight and the 32 pairing weight with up weights of 20 and 21 they, they're, where they will give good symptoms overlaps. And so I have a series of pairs, and I think of them in terms of their up weights, and what I want for up weight in the various sections. And just space them approximately evenly throughout. Now I can get these guys out of the way. And there's a a little more initial friction in the... Now, okay, so this particular note, the D-sharp, has a little more friction than the ones around it. Excuse me while I grab a uh, screwdriver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine is what I'm using as my standard. There's graphite in these cloth bushings. And here and there, it causes a little trouble. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for some reason, the trouble side has a slight effect, and the base side, when treated, and the base side has more of an effect. So it allows me a little set of choices in terms of freeing up the ones that are uh, okay, better compared to the other sharps around it. Okay, that one's a little bit fast. Um, now, uh, this one had a lead removed here and it had nothing added. Now, it could be that, that when I uh, took the lead out, uh, this one, you know, I could have taken a little more lead out. Next one is up here and um, that would make it slightly more even, but it it's so even compared to what was there. Okay, so the F sharp, I could consider doing that too. It's kind of a renegade. I'll mark it with my piece of chalk that comes with the kit, a useful piece of chalk. I was able to uh, have space between the leads that are there and or either side enough to um, really get a, a fine way off, one that is Okay, here is another. Hmm. So I'm going to go through, and it's it's perfectly fine, but if there are only a few of them, when I have everything apart, it's easy to push out another lead. And um, ah, this is the one that had three leads removed. <laughs> yeah. Well. I guess it would have four lens then. So 30 pairing weight, 20 up weight gives you uh, 50 down weight. So you have 50 gram down weight, 20 gram up weight, which would be a balance weight of 35. So you have 50 plus 20, uh, equals 70 divided by 2 equals 35. Okay, you have 21 grams plus 29 grams equals 50 grams down weight. And you have 50 grams down weight plus 21 grams gives you 71 divided by 2 is 35 and a half. So the balance weights are going up by half grams in this scenario, but the down weights are staying the same, which if, if the piano is designed that way, going against its design will possibly conflict with uh, the piano player's expectations on the one hand, and may cause difficulties in the way uh, it uh, weighs off and regulates. This kit does the two systems, and um, depending on the down weight that you need and the up weight, um, if you go all the way in this direction, well, you only have four up weights, uh, but you could uh, put 31 grams and 32 grams. So we take these two off of here. There's the 31, there's the 32, and so now we have all five uh, up weights available, and they all add up to 52. If you want 53, for instance, now you need a 33, we don't have a 33 in the kit, but you could take 23 
plus the 10 and use that as your pairing weight. Uh, now the 23 you're going to have to reuse as the up weight, but by the time you get there, there won't be a conflict. 